Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jacob here. Um, today I'm going to do a video, uh, a, tag, a perfume tag video, or how would you call those? I never did those before, but um, Emilo Rashitov asked me to, to make one. So uh, let's see how this works. Um, I'm going to kind of, you know, I can't do anything the normal, regular way, so I'm going to mix it up a bit. Uh, and um, I shall make sort of difficulty levels and <laughs> I will begin with perfume tag difficulty level 7, 7 out of 10. Um, and since I, I mean I don't know, I would definitely tag everybody to, to do it, whoever would like to do it because I hope it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's psychologically challenging a bit but it's fun. Mm, so I'm not going to tag uh, all my friends on YouTube that do not make videos because I don't, I don't know if you guys want to begin making videos but, you know, it would be a good occasion to begin, perhaps, in any way or in any case. Um, the only three uh, people that see my channel uh, from time to time, I think, and that are subscribed, more or less, that I could tag are, um, will be listed in the end of this video. But first, let's keep it a secret. So, the perfume tag, question number one. So, some of the questions will be difficult, some will be a bit easy. First one, if you were a perfume, <laughs> which perfume would you be? Simple scents are allowed, like honey, rose, vanilla, etc. Second question, what is your most hated perfume? The kind that when you smell it on someone, you just want to leave immediately or barf. Three, what is your daytime perfume? That's an easy question. Uh, well, difficult to pick, but an easy question. What is your favorite nighttime perfume? Uh, fifth question, is there a perfume you love but always thought there might be an extra ingredient that the makers could or should have added to it to make it even better? Sixth question, is there a perfume from the past, near or far past, that has been reformulated and became better after the reformulation? If so, which one was it? And I'm really curious to know because usually the reformulations you know, that I get to smell are always worse than the originals. Which perfume did you stop buying after the reformulation? And, uh, question number eight. What was your first perfume ever? Was it a gift or did you buy it yourself? And the last question, question number nine. Uh, what is the perfume that you consider as wearable or even desirable to wear when you're making love? So there you go. Um, first question, as far as I'm concerned. If you were a perfume, which perfume would you be? Um, I would be Iris, definitely. What is your most hated perfume? The kind that when you smell it on someone, you just want to leave immediately. This depends a bit on the chemistry of the person uh, at hand. So some smells could smell or some scents could smell great on some people, really bad on others. Um, but in general, I don't like... Uh, on, on women, when too much patchouli is at hand, or the sweet patchouli scents, um, they can they tend to be very overpowering. And unfortunately for the person wearing them, they eliminate your identity, and you just smell the perfume, and you identify that perfume with the brand and name without it having you know to blend nicely with the chemistry of the person wearing them. For as far as men go, I don't like. Um, when guys smell, you know, too, too fresh, citrusy, um, you know, uh, something like the um, Aqua di Gio has, has been overused, uh, so for men, so that, that's a smell, when I smell it, I immediately go, okay, somebody didn't think enough about what they could purchase for themselves, I don't know, I just, I don't, I don't like it. Um, what is your daytime perfume? So I, depends. I mean, if I'm in a good mood and it's a warm day and I have to be, um, in contact with a lot of people, I mostly go for Bois d'Argent. And there it is. Bois d'Argent by Christian Dior, uh, the Eau de Parfum, because the colognes are not in production anymore. If it's a cooler day, I go for Sycamore by Chanel Eau de Toilette. This is a little one I use for traveling. Yeah, this is great for, for especially for, for now, for um, autumn. 
What is your favorite nighttime perfume? At the moment, um, I would go for, again, I would have to pick between two. Uh, one is Eau Ispahan. This is a very heavy one. You literally have to use it. Um, oh, my battery is dying again. You literally have to use just a tad bit and that's it. And very complex, difficult perfume. It's been criticized a lot, but I tend to love it is um, Noble Leather by uh, Yves Saint Laurent. So this one I would definitely use. This is nighttime even, not just evening. <laughs> um, is there a perfume you love but always thought there might be an extra ingredient that the makers could or should have added to it? Yes, there is. Cuir de Russie, the pure perfume. Uh, they should have made it tad bit less sweet and I don't know what ingredient they should have taken out to make it less sweet. Um, I'm talking about the Pure Perfume, I'm not talking about the Eau de Toilette, but the Pure Perfume is my favorite one. Um, I would have made it a bit, I would have added more smoke to it and I would have taken away a bit of sugar, honey, I don't know what's the sweet stuff in there. Uh, is there a perfume from the past, near or far past, that has been reformulated and became better after the reformulation? If so, which one was it? Um, yeah. I'm not sure what to say about this because it's tricky. It's tricky because most of the time when a perfume I love gets reformulated, I hate it and then I kind of get used to it again and then I love it for different reasons. So I would say in general, no. Usually every reformulated perfume to me smells less intense or rich or special than the original formula. I do, however, appreciate very much the reformulated version of Bois des Îles by Chanel. Uh, so I wouldn't stop uh, using it just because it's re reformulated, even though I do have my cherished vintage bottle, which I use only from time to time, but it's a totally different smell. It, it's way more intense. So, so in a way, it's interesting to see the Bois des Îles reformulated because it's, um, it's more fresh on the skin. I guess you could use it more during the daytime as well. Which perfume did you stop buying after reformulation? I stopped buying uh, Poison by Christian Dior. Uh, that perfume just does not cut it. I mean, the 80s original formula is, it's incredible. The reformulation just turned it into stinky swamp concoction. Which perfume did you sell right? What was your first perfume ever? Was it a gift or was it self-bought? It was, uh, as far as I can go back and remember, I was 12 years old, received it for my birthday from our neighbors. Yeah, our neighbors. And it was Anteos by Chanel. Uh, and a very intense perfume for a kid, 12 years old, I didn't care. I used it anyway. <laughs> Everybody laughed at me. I just loved it so much and I still love it. Despite the reformulation, that's another one I still use even though it's been reformulated. What was your first bit? Right. So what is the perfume that you consider as wearable or even desirable to wear when you're making love? Um, I would have to say skin, your own perfume is the best. Just the right chemistry with the right partner works miracles. Uh, you don't need anything added to that. Of course, you should be clean. And I mean, to, to each his own. You never know. Some people don't like to wash before um, making love. But if I were to add an additional scent, it would definitely have to happen at least two to three hours before actually uh, hitting the bunk uh, because I would want it to really, really blend in with my chemistry and not just be overpowering and too chemical on my skin. So, so the, the two perfumes that I would use, uh, that I would prepare to go on a date and um, hope for the best <laughs> would be these two. Either Bois des Îles, which the dry down on this one is very, very close to my skin and I just love the way that it smells and it's not overpowering or aggressive in any way. If I were feeling a bit more uh, aggressive, I would go for the Sycamore because Sycamore is more intense. There's more vetiver in it. This is more rooty, more earthy, soily. Um, this one is more 
carnal and physical. Uh, this one is more ethereal. So maybe platonic love and uh, physical love? <laughs> one of these two. These are the two. Alrighty, so that's it. That was my perfume tag video uh, or tag perfume video. Uh, here are the nominees <laughs> for um, this particular perfume tag video. So it's um, Amy, v I hope I pronounced this correctly, Vissenju or Vissenju, Vissenju, Amy Vissenju, or it's, it's a French name, I suppose. Uh, Trina Levers, I'm sorry. I know you have complications with, with, with skin and, and perfumes and for many years you weren't able to use them. But since you are one of my only subscribers that actually make a lot of videos, I, I think this might be something you might like to do, even though I know you're not really that much into perfume. Um, and then Mrs. BB Love. Um, this is this is all I you know this is all I can I can tag for now uh, as far as uh, perfumes go. But please, if anybody that subscribed to my channel uh, sees this video and wishes to also make a you know a, a, th this particular tag uh, perfume tag video, please feel free to do so. I'd be really 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 curious to know what you guys uh, wear, how you deal with these questions and with perfumes. And if you don't want to make a video, um, you could just answer if you want. I'm not forcing anybody, of course. If you want, you could just, uh, in the comment section below, you could uh, just give me, you know, the nine question answers. Just write down what your preferred answers would be or answer with the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe if you like what you see. We need all the support we could get. The community has to grow with. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Take care and have a great Sunday. Well, now it's Sunday, so by the time this video is up, it might be Monday. So either a great end of the week or a great beginning of the next week, however you like. Take care, everybody. Bye.